Hi, in this video, I'm going to make a modification to my helmet and this is the air inlet. A few days ago, I dropped the helmet and I uh, break one of the clip here that will go into this hole. So I need to make a replacement. Uh, this side, the clip is still uh, intact, no damage. So I will uh, make a 3D stand and reverse this part since I have to make air inlet cover anyway so I will modification uh, this air inlet to make the air flow in more easily if you can see this one uh, opening is very uh, narrow and the uh, 3D scanner that I'm going to use in this video is the Creative Samoon S1 Okay, as you can see that the surface of the air inlet cover is very glossy. Glossy blacks always cause a problem uh, with the 3D scanning. I have already made a Google Marker scan. So I'm going to move to the point cloud scanning. 0.15mm. Okay, let me start. Okay, let's move to second orientation. I'm going to flip it up like this. Okay, because I want to merge outer shell and inner shell together, there is no overlap sidewall to uh, use for automatic merging. So I need to make a third scan, but this scan, I'll scan this orientation so that I can uh, scan it in a 360 degree angle. And I will use this scan for merging. I need to remove the clay. I'm going to fuse all three scan. Okay, if you look at the outer shell scan, the quality is very good because I laid parallel to the markers on the turntable. The second scan, the inner shell, uh, quality is also very good because I laid parallel to the turntable. Okay, let's check uh, scan number three. Scan number three was scanned in the vertical position. The marker is on the edge of the turntable. It's uh, quite far away from uh, the object. So you will get this a uh, rough surface. If you ask why, why would I get a rough surface when I scan? You get a rough surface because your scanning surface has a too far distance uh, from the marker. For the third scan, I will only use it for merging only. And after merging, I will remove it. I click on process alignment. 
So if we have three scans, it's likely that the software can automatically align it. It contains uh, a lot of overlap area. So if I click on align, it will quickly make you the alignment. But if you simply turn off the scan number three, you see, it will leave me a good scan on the scan number one and scan number two. See, after merging, you can turn it off. Create this software allow you to select uh, which point cloud that you want to be include in the meshing process. So I will use only scan one and scan two for meshing. Um, 0.3 million points. I'm not going to fill any holes. Click on apply. So now you have a very good uh, quality of the mesh. So all the edges is uh, joined together. Because uh, Creative Scan, the new version, they put a cleaning process in the mesh processor. So if you want a clean merging of your scan, you need to mesh it. Okay, let's try if the River Point uh, Metro X can make the scan of this uh, glossy black object. I'm going to use uh, Automatic X Control in the parallel lines. And object is the black object, right? They have a black object mode. I'm going to choose uh, 0.15 for the resolution. Okay, this should be uh, the setting that most users will use. Uh, for scanning this I feel tired and it's not turning green. Only the top part here is turning green. Uh, let's view the point cloud. 0 0.15. Okay, here's the result after fusing. Uh, the tip here is not scanned and the surface is very uh, rough surface. Okay, let's try to mesh it. Mm, 0 0.15 okay 1.6 is fine okay this is the result of the meshing is also give a very rough surface okay this is from the Simon S1 matrix Okay, next I'm going to make a 2D scan of the mounting point so that I can see the clear lines between uh, the visor and the mounting hole. So I need to put the markers on. I don't want to put many, so I will scan with the 34 lines. I use uh, 10 millimeters on the flat area. So uh, 5 should be uh, enough. Okay, click on a new scan. I will use 0 0.2. Okay, next I'm going to move up my visor because I want to capture the visor. Okay, you can also notice that 
um, the surface was far away from the marker we have a lovely surface because it has a lower confidence okay let me export this as a point cloud to be aligned is the inlet okay now it's aligned Uh, I will export this uh, to point cloud separately. Autodex Inventor, uh, yellow point cloud is the mounting point, and the green one is the air inlet cover. I will go fast and I will show you a step I took to model this part. Okay, this is the air scoop. Okay, so the module has finished and I omit the shutter for the air inlet because uh, I don't need that. Um, I check the clashing with the visor. I think it will not crash. So this is a uh, tallest air scoop that I can make without interfering with the visor when I open it. Okay, it's all finished and ready for 3D printing. Okay, I will align this. Three supports. 100% in fill. Going to paint the support. Here, and here, and here. Outer beam only. Okay, let's clone this. Uh, Millard. So printing result. The other shell looks okay. A bit glossy because it's printed with the PETG. On the inner shell, I managed to uh, remove all the support, even on the splitted pin here. So uh, let's try test fitting. Gonna put it here. Let's try put it on the other side. So it's very tight fit. There's some small seam line here. Uh, let me blow some air into the helmet. Yeah, I can feel uh, when I put my hand inside, I can feel uh, some cold air inside here. Okay, it's comparing with the original one. Uh, 
Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.